Viagra not only dilates the blood vessels in your genitals, it also dilates the blood vessels in your brain. Now, here's another really cool research set. This is really, really new. Um, it was pu published in the journal Nature Medicine. It was a study from the Cleveland Clinic, which is a major medical center. Remember, I told you all science-based information that's rigorously done, generating the evidence that you know you can trust because it's science. This was a study of 7 million people. That's a big study. They looked in the electronic medical records. They looked for diseases that these people had of 7 million people, and they looked at the medicines they were having to see if there's any correlations. Is there any medicine that somebody was taking that might lower disease? Guess what they found? They found there was one medicine that lowered the risk of Alzheimer's disease by 67%. Wow. In the study of 7 million people, no bias, just going in there and using a computer to figure out were there any medicines people are taking that lowered any disease? One medicine lowered the risk of Alzheimer's disease by 67%. What was that medicine? Guess what? Viagra for erectile dysfunction. People taking Viagra for erectile dysfunction had the lower risk of Alzheimer's disease by 67%. Holy cow, how would that work? Well, it turns out Viagra not only dilates the blood vessels in your genitals, okay? It also dilates the blood vessels in your brain, better circulation for your brain. And the way it dilates blood vessels, widens blood vessels is through something called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide stimulates stem cells to regenerate your um, organs. So not only do you have better blood flow in your brain, you also have more stem cells in your brain. Remember I told you about the Chinese celery and the stem cells to treat stroke? So now this is an interesting piece of research that asks what else could stimulate nitric oxide that might be able to stimulate stem cells, um, uh, widen blood vessels that might be able to do what we observe with Viagra. So this is actually an area of research I'm doing right now. Guess what? There's a food that will do that and I will tell you what it is. Beets. Beets actually will grow low to the ground, and so does spinach, absorb a lot of nitrogen from the soil. And when you chew it, the gut bacteria that starts in your tongue, tongue microbiome, converts the nitrogen from the soil in the beet into a form that when you swallow it, gets absorbed into your bloodstream as nitric oxide. Does something very similar to Viagra without genital effect, obviously. Um, but that's now a really interesting area of research to wonder whether or not beets, and by the way, if you don't like regular beets or can't find them beet juice look at this it's you now this has been studied in humans and shown to also um, recruit stem cells and lower blood pressure by the way for every one point of blood pressure you lower with beet juice you decrease the risk of stroke by five percent so this is stuff that makes a difference it's been studied in humans quite amazing 